Okay, in this video we're going to just uh, walk you through the export process getting animations from Max into MovieStorm. So first of all you want to find your MovieStorm directory. Go into your add-on directory under there and we're going to make a new add-on. Okay, so create a new folder and uh, we'll call this uh, Amos Animations. Uh, underneath the, uh, the main add-on folder we want to create another new folder and we're going to Call that data. Under here we're going to have another new folder called Puppets. Oops. And uh, then we are going to have Mail01 because I'm just going to export an animation for the mail. Okay, under the Mail01 directory we're going to have another new folder. We're going to call this Animations because obviously we're going to make an animation. Uh, under here we want to have gestures because basically we're going to put it in the gestures folder so that we can access it via the uh, gesturizer. Okay, so there's our directory structure. I'm going to switch over to Max and uh, I'm just going to open this um, test file. Don't worry about the missing textures. And uh, as you can see we've got our puppet in here. If we play this back we can see that we've got a, a nice little gesture, very short animation, very simple. Okay, so if we um, just stop this animation and uh, highlight the puppet, and we can see that the animation goes from 0 to around 81 frames. So I'm just going to change the timeline in Max just so it displays that area. So we'll put the end time as 81, hit OK and um, this will just make it a little bit easier to export the puppet. Okay, so we want to select the puppet's root, like this, and uh, we're just going to go to the uh, uh, copy-paste options, and you can see at the beginning and the end of the animation we're in the base pose. Now this is really important. Um, just switch to T-pose and then um, back to base just to show you the difference if we click on base pose and we'll paste that in like so and you can see it's identical to uh, the start pose of the animation. This is obviously important because um, if your start pose doesn't match the neutral start pose then you're going to get snapping as soon as uh, MovieStorm tries to um, blend between the beginning of the animation and uh, the previous pose. Uh, Chris has included uh, a whole load of um, standard poses here, so um, you know you've got your sit down, start poses, and all the rest of it. Okay, so if we uh, go to export this animation, we've got the root of the character selected. Uh, we're going to export this as a uh, a Cal animation file here, and we want to navigate to the folder that we created in Add-on. And then we'll go to uh, Amos Animations, go to the Data, Puppets, Mail01, Animations and Gestures. Okay, so uh, we'll now export this animation as uh, Amos Gesture in. Click Save and uh, we are just going to select the skeleton, which is going to be from your MovieStorm directory and go into add-on, go into the core directory, data, puppets, mail01. So this is telling, uh, telling it to use the default mail skeleton. So just click next and we've got all of the bones there. Um, so I click next again and we're just going to do the first half of the animation here. Uh, so if we uh, start at start frame 0 and we're going to go to frame 60 which is where the the guy has his arm extended there. We don't need to change any of the other stuff we just export like so. Do the second half of the animation which is going to be frame 60 up until frame 81 there. 
Uh, so we want to make sure that the time counter is at zero, export, and we'll call it Amos Gesture Out. So we just change that. And again, click Save. We've already got the correct skeleton um, selected, so we just hit Next, hit Next again. And we want to change the start frame to 60, and the end frame is automatically set to 81 because that's the length of our timeline. OK, so we can now finish that. And that is the animation exported. So we can close Max. We don't need to save the scene. And you can now see our two gestures in and out there. So I'm just going to start Movie Storm. I'm going to start the Modders Workshop and um, get these animations imported. I'll just pause the video for a second. And come back and you can see that we've got the Models Workshop open. All right. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is to select the add-on, which we've called Amos Animations. So we just select that, wait for the Models Workshop to update. This takes a few seconds and basically what it's doing is it's filtering all the uh, animations so we just see what's in that specific add-on. I'm going to go into Models and uh, Puppets. Mail 01, Animations and Gestures. And you can see our two gestures, Amos Gesture In and Amos Gesture Out. So we we'll just select the first animation there. You can see it loads up with the default puppet. Like so, play that animation back and you can see the first half of our gesture there. Okay, so we just open this uh, window a little bit. And I'm uh, just going to change a few values here. Uh, firstly, we've got our begin and end. Uh, we're going to change the end to Amos Gesture. So that's pretty much setting the state of the end pose there. Also going to check um, all except face. So uh, basically this will tell Movie Storm not to be able to animate any of the bones while uh, this animation is playing. Don't need to change anything under tags or improvised weights, uh, but under menus we're going to change it to uh, gesture, and we've got the menu name there, gestures Amos in, reverse name, mirrored name we don't need to fill, and then we're going to save the state info there. We now go to the other animation and uh, we've got Amos gesture out, and you can see that's just him returning from the gesture. Now we're going to change the begin state to the same, exactly the same name, Amos Gesture there. Click all except face again, nothing under tags, nothing under improvised weights, and uh, we're just going to call, make this into a gesture, so save the state information there. Okay, now we want to log in as our publisher, so I've got my own publisher name and uh, password, so i just put that in. Click OK and we can now publish add-on packs. So we've got to make sure that our current add-on is selected. Amos Animations, then hit the Publish button. Uh, just click on Publish without changing anything. So now we should have that in Movie Storm. So we'll just close the Modders Workshop. And I'll just show you what uh, files have just been created. So if we go into the root of our Amos Animations folder, you can see we've got the as add-on, asset data, mesh data, uh, etc. We've also got state machine information in the uh, data folder there. Okay, so uh, let's start up Movie Storm. And uh, we'll try and preview our new animation on a puppet directly within the program. Just hit the start button. Click on New Movie. Stand up with a, uh, a blank scene. And then we 
go directly to the dressing room and get a puppet in. Now, obviously, because we've done this animation just for the male, um, we're going to need to use a male puppet. So I just use one of the standard guys, just put a suit on him for decency's sake. And um, give him some hair as well. Okay, so we're going to go into the director's uh, view here. There we go. Okay, so we'll uh, place a puppet on the scene. Click on him. <coughs> Click on gesture. And uh, like the plus button. And you can see at the bottom here we've got Amos gesture in. It's just in the root of gestures. Click on that and our puppet starts the gesture. So we just add that to the timeline. And you can see once we've added the animation to the timeline, uh, we now get the option of uh, using the Amos gesture out. Okay, so there we have our gesture working in Movie Storm. Bit of a gap between them. And that sums up this tutorial.